Uncle Mud here. Got a little bit of a cool thing to show you. We're actually in my house. Uh, double wide outside Cleveland, Ohio. I'll show you my new install of my Liberator rocket heater. Uh, plugged into the Cobb Mass bench that uh, I've been uh, running uh, for about seven years. I've actually owned this uh, Liberator here for almost three years, uh, but it has been on the tour uh, circuit with me, showing people how uh, rocket mass heaters work. Um, and uh, this one, I'll have the website in the comments down below, but uh, basically this one is, at the moment, the only UL-listed uh, rocket heater uh, appliance in the United States that makes insurance companies happy uh, and uh, makes me happy because it's actually keeping my house warm and it's using a lot less wood than my old wood stove did. Um, uh, the $200 piece of junk wood stove that I had installed here uh, was an improvement. It took me down from the sometimes a thousand dollars a month for propane to less than a hundred bucks a year for uh, pallet cutoffs, um, but uh, it had to be um, uh, stoked sometimes two or three times a night, uh, and uh, that improved when we built this cob bench that the chimney goes down and through. You can see the clean outs for it. When we had the wood stove here, we had to clean that out every few weeks because of the creosote buildup. Now we don't because the, the rocket heaters don't produce uh, the creosote. Uh, you see a place where we had to repair it. Uh, the nice thing about cob is that when you do break it, uh, you can actually mix it up with some water and sculpt it back again. So this is drying right now. This is the sandy clay soil with straw that we are um, sculpting back to fix the bench where we uh, had uh, had cracks and and uh, chips off of it over the years. Uh, you can see I have a little toaster oven here underneath the uh, the rocket heater. Um, this is the feed tube. You can also put a um, pellet hopper on top of this thing and you would feed outside air in through here. I've got uh, three blocks of compressed sawdust running in there right now. That is nice in that it will burn um, through the night and that helps keep the place warm. Even when it's really cold around here in Cleveland, I've got the, the the starting and cleaning flap open just a hair to let a little more air in because of those uh, sawdust bricks uh, need a little more air to burn clean. And here's what we've been using. These are this is scrap from the hardwood flooring manufacturer down the street, um, a $100 uh, dumpster lasts uh, the year and then some, uh, and I'll bring it right over here and we put it in these uh, banana boxes and stack them up in the carport and use those to heat the house. Uh, but then these Envirobrick are nice. Uh, when uh, when you're gonna have people gone for a long time, so this'll this thing here with the three in there that'll burn uh, five or six hours, um, which is nice to come home to instead of having uh, the place chillier. At least the ch place was never really cold because this thermal mass bench would store the heat nicely. Uh, but uh, this liberator, um, I'm really pleased with how it's working. Um, and uh, they run $1,800 from the manufacturer, uh, including shipping and including the pellet hopper. 
Um, you tell them Uncle Mud sent you, they'll give you a hundred bucks off. Cause we have this agreement, you know. But uh, well put together. This one's been banging around in the carport, keeping us warm when we were doing builds. And actually had this bungeed to the back of my Prius a few times, taking it across the country to show it to people. Um, but no worse for the wear and definitely keeping our house warm. It's nice to have this thermal mass here storing the heat that otherwise would have gone out the chimney. When my old wood stove was here, uh, it would be 100, it would be almost 500 degrees up at the top here and you can see all that heat is staying in the house. It's about 100 degrees on the outside of that chimney. Uh, instead of almost 500 degrees um, that heat staying in the house instead of going out is really nice you can see us on Facebook or patreon.com under Uncle Mud uh, hope you're warm like we are